Carriagetown neighborhood shows a connection with us all. It's the neighborhood birthplace of General Motors. And today it stands as a vibrant neighborhood with an engaged neighborhood association, a place that you can call home, or you can raise a family, walk a dog, enjoy a stroll down the street and get a cup of coffee, or take a quick walk to downtown. What I find most compelling about this place is that it's a neighborhood that, because of the way it was built, is able to accommodate folks kind of at all stages of life. These little interventions where we just take a lot or two and try to do something great there to restore it to the type of density and urban fabric that's necessary for real neighborhoods to actually work. So I live in this neighborhood, so I'm delighted to see that this was a, a wonderful partnership between Michigan Community Capital and the Genesee County Land Bank this project is using some pretty neat financing, uh, specifically tax increment financing through the local Brownfield Redevelopment Authority. It's a really neat tool that land banks are partnering with communities on because by the land bank owning the land, it's a tool that then local people can make local decisions about local money. This project is important to this neighborhood because it's going to bring new single family housing. It is going to help revitalize this neighborhood. The most important part of this project is the partnership between the city, the developer, and the land bank. With all of those players working together, this is bringing a very unique and innovative opportunity to the city. My name is Paul Herring. I've been a Carriagetown resident for over 30 years. Oh, I love this neighborhood. I moved to this neighborhood. We couldn't leave our hoses outside of our houses. It was a difficult place. It was um, very seedy, to say the least. And to go from that to this has been amazing. I'm Marilyn Krumka. I'm the VP of Development for Michigan Community Capital. MCC and URC partnered together on this project to redevelop Genesee County Land Bank lots. And we wanted to do that so we could see more for sale product in the neighborhood. And also so the project could act as a model for other development, not only in Flint, but across the state. We need catalytic projects just like this that actually show and demonstrate that there is a market and there is a desire to live in this city. So we're very happy to be part of that. And in this partnership with Uptown and Michigan Community Capital, uh, we feel like we can start making an impact and spreading this to other neighborhoods and other areas and doing the exact same thing. Home ownership uh, is a really big goal for many people in the city. Um, there's wonderful housing projects going on, and so to be able to contribute to that with a special aim for home ownership not only brings pride to people here in the neighborhood, but also in the city. This is the first market rate development for home ownership in 10 years in Flint. The importance of public and private partnerships cannot be overstated. I think the investment in this area, which we hopefully will see as a catalyst to expand to all neighborhoods throughout the city of Flint, um, is unprecedented in this moment in time. And it's needed uh, in order to fuel and spur new development uh, in Flint. Having new owner-occupied housing in Carriagetown neighborhood as well as the city of Flint, having new construction, um, especially market rate new construction, across the board, the reason that the city approved the Brownfield plan was because they know that housing is economic development. And so having this new housing is part of us continuing to grow our ability for uh, more residents, but also more businesses. Carriagetown is a great place to make better. And I think these projects are a, a good step in that direction.